Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is an international bout. So, first of all, hello to all of our viewers in Poland at the moment. Introducing to you first, boxing out of Zaleta Boxing Club, making his, making his debut in the blue corner, all the way from Poland, Michael Orzel! Michael Orsall, 178 centimetres, 76 kilograms, 21 years of age. Two young men facing off here, testing themselves in the Premier Boxing League ring. Oh, he looks ready, Steve. And more than just a fight, more than just a boxing match, Chris. This is a battle of countries. This is Poland versus England. And we know the Polish love a good scrap, don't they? They're up for it all the time. And Mikhail Orsall is happy to oblige in the blue corner. Oh, it looks very happy, fired up for this fight. Oh, he's, well, he boasts knockout power. He says that he's happy to put to take it anywhere, but he's looking for that KO victory to establish his debut. And the fact that he's making this debut on pay-per-view, watched hopefully by thousands and thousands of his fans back in his home country of Poland, must just add to the fire lit under Mikhail Rose will say, 76 kilograms, the light heavyweight bout. Louis Henry Collins coming with a four inch height advantage. Two kilos in weight yeah. and the home crowd. You cannot underestimate the home crowd, especially here in Manchester. He also boasts knockout power and loves to slam the body so he can work upstairs later on. Quite enjoyed the walkout music as well. It's a bit more chill. It's unique. It's always Eminem. This is different. This is different. <laughs> Throw you off with some opera. <laughs> so it's time. Will it be oh, Mikkel making a statement on foreign soil, or will it be the hometown kid taking it home for the English fans? Enjoying the workout is our man Louis Henry Collins. Savoring the moment. I think it's important for these fighters to come out. Take your time. This is something that one day you'll be an old man and you'll look back on with fond memories. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the adulation, enjoy the fans, enjoy the crowd. It's a pretty cool thing to do. I'll definitely be the taller and rangier fighter, well, Louis Henry Collins. Look at his confidence, bobbing in and out of the ropes. A little dance. Final instructions in the ring from referee Flood. He's been overseeing all the action tonight. And we've had some absolutely incredible action in this ring. This is our 13th fight of the evening, folks. Lucky 13. Henry Collins comes in, trying to land the right hand. Southpaw stance there from Urzel. Urzel landing a big shot. Oh, both fighters landing. Oh, they're getting into an absolute frenetic exchange here in the corner. Frenetic is a good word for it, Steve. They are both front caution to the win. Urza doing Power well, shots. keeping his hands up after the exchange. Because Henry Collins is definitely looking for that counter shot. Urza with the pressure, keeping Henry Collins pressed against the ropes. Oh, Collins looking away. Has he been hurt? Urza, lovely left hand. Loads of power coming from Urza. Lovely left again for Ozil. 
Holland is in trouble at the moment, Steve. He is backing up the whole time. Uh, Ozil's got him pinned. Oh, lovely left to the body of Herm. Oh, that one, I think, went right just under the sternum where your chest ends and your stomach begins. He's got to suck in deep. So well placed, that shot. He's back to his feet. He's definitely taking a shot to the nose as well as Henry Collins. Mikhail Urzel is oh. wanting to make a statement here on foreign soil. The Polish invader. Henry Collins coming now out. slashing with jabs and he follows up with a left hand. Henry Collins came out so confident but Urzel just putting it on him. The body shots are just taking it out. Oh, another knee from Henry Collins. I don't think it was so much a knockdown but I think just needed the moment. Henry Collins showing amazing heart here to get back up. That was so close to being He's waved off. Mm. Well, the round's going to come to an end. Yeah, very end of the round. That was Henry not Collins saved by the bell. That was not the first round he wanted. He's not happy about that. He's got to, got to compose himself now. Is that for Wolves what is? what is the answer for the the power going to be yeah I think he's got to he's got to start using that jab keep the distance he's got to keep Orzel off him Orzel's just going to power forward power forward power forward he senses the weakness I think like, Henry Collins can rally Orzel put so much energy I think he is quite fatigued from trying to put him away from the pressure he was driving forward with. But the body shot, you've been there, Steve. We've all been there. You take a heavy body shot. It just takes it out of you. It just stops you, it disrupts your breathing. I thought Henry Collins took it quite well. Yeah. But it was that delayed, that delayed knockdown or knee down in that first exchange that showed that he was really hurt to the organs. It was a nice uppercut, well placed by Urzel. You got to guarantee Urzel's going to come forward. He smells blood in the water like a shark. Yeah, definitely. He's going to want to put it on Henry Collins now. Henry Collins needs to use that jab, stay long, get his composure back. He's immediately backing up Steve Mott. Oh, he's going to go right oh, back. Oh, lovely. Back Collins is not having going down easy. Lovely shots by Collins. And the crowd is going wild. They're right behind him here. He's got to hear them. Collins got some fans. Oh, uh, lovely shot by Collins. Whips holds his head back. Whatever corner speech Collins gets, corner gave him worked. He was rallied. He was, but has that fatigue from the body shots just been too much? He's getting backed into the corner here. Looks to rush out, but he yeah. can as he's sat right back into the turnbuckle. Well, also, is just throwing so much volume. He could have really fatigue himself. He's got to be careful. Henry Collins, nice left hook cross. Orzel driving forward again. Landing shots. Going right to the Henry body. Collins oh. keeping hands up. He's got him turning away now. Referee Flood was all on top of that there, looking to make a stoppage, and now he bounces his head back. And there it is. There's the stoppage. Referee steps in. He had a good, a few good moments there in round number two, but wow. And Louis Louis Henry Collins sits in the corner. He's taken an absolute beating, both to the head and to the body. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by the heart of Henry Collins. He took such a, he took some serious damage in that first round. He came out for round two, given everything he could. Had the crowd behind him, but you it's see just him too getting, much. Getting the better of Urzel there, backing him up, moving his head really well. But Urzel doing just exactly what he had to do, cornering him and just throwing heat to the head and to the body. And because Henry Collins just had to protect his body or risk another knockdown, he had to leave his head open there, which was the call for the which was the moment that Ryan Flood, our referee, had to step in. Yeah, the crowd were willing Henry Collins to be able to rally and they were, they were getting behind him, but it was all all today. The pressure coming forwards, the power, and that body shot in the first round was a thing of beauty. 
left hook into the body. going to get an interview kind of behind the scenes how Mikel Wurzel feels about coming in to the UK and getting a second round referee stoppage just throwing heat the whole time he'll be with our man Chris Benson ringside in a few moments now I'm with the Polish sensation, Mikhail Olza. What an incredible fight. Did that go the way you were planning? Yes, of course. I, I mean, it's more than I uh, expect. And did you think your opponent would be that tough? What were you expecting from him? I'm, I mean, I, I didn't know uh, that much my opponent. So I, I, I didn't know what to expect. He didn't know what he was waiting for. It was a one big unknown, you know. Um, but he was definitely confident. We can, yeah. And how was the training leading up to this fight? Yeah, we were not training. Uh, I was uh, training for like a month uh, to this fight, yeah, but I, I trained really hard. It was uh, six times uh, a, week. a week. So it was tough, tough, uh, tough work, but. It's the, the important thing what's next for you? We were chasing some belts, what's the dream? I mean, why not? <laughs> I have fun with this, so I will keep going. Oh, you heard it for your first. Mikhail's coming for those belts, and he'll be back in the boxing league soon. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Go back ringside.